when was the best moment off the air? Do you guys have one? You know, I'll tell you one thing I saw this week. I went down there with some pro volleyball players playing down by the beach. Yeah, there I was in, in Manhattan. Manhattan Beach, yeah. That is a uh, di- that's a different species of athlete. Oh. You know, I think people think beach volleyball is fun and casual, but that is a intense uh, sport. And I'm in Manhattan Beach walking around, and I see, I think, four women who are at least 6'5", and I go, well, that's odd to have four women at least 6'5", rolling in. And then they were walking down to the beach, and then I saw all the uh, volleyball courts and the tents, and, uh, you know, they have their whole uh, – I think the uh, competition starts uh, this weekend. Would you rather be the greatest beach volleyball player in the world? Mm-hmm. I don't know if this this might be too tough on beach volleyball – or the greatest surfer in the world. Greatest surfer. Yeah, but it's it's in the same range, though. Well, would I rather be Karch Karai – He was very famous. – or Kelly Slater? Kelly Slater, all day. Because Kelly's still killing it. You know? he, he's not 6'4", though, and shredded. He doesn't, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? No, no. He's, he's still like 5'10 and shredded. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's all right. He's, he, Kelly Slater's doing okay. I'd like to have some of his bad days. Yes, McLovin. I was watching surfers yesterday at the Manhattan Pier, Manhattan Beach Pier. I don't get it, man. You're just sitting there waiting for the shark to come. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever think about that when you watch the ocean? Because no, I think I'd be afraid of them. But you I, don't surf? No. I don't go in the ocean. Because the sharks are just gem- generally. I, you know, I, I have a problem going into a pool, let alone going into the ocean there. I'm really? so with you. Yeah, I don't know. I like being on the water, being around the water. I don't have to be in the water. You're not a strong swimmer. No, I can swim. I, I, a, la- I, a lap pool. Yeah, I was on the swim team in, oh. in uh, growing up. Well, we didn't know that. This is news. This is the yeah. news. Yeah, I was on the swim team. What was your discipline? I, I, was, <laughs> I, I, was, I was a breast stroker. Oh, yes. oh, yes. 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 You're making this up. What? No, I swear to God. At I what was. age were you on the swim team? Uh, probably sixth, seventh grade, I think. Yeah. The Ma- you, Mason Bowl. Little nose was plugs? It? No, no, I didn't do that. Did you wear a cap? I did not wear a cap. <laughs> Goggles. This is this is how oh god it was so embarrassing. So you know you'd have the long bathing suit on, you'd get to the starting blocks, you'd take the long bathing suit off and have the speedo on, yep. and then you would get to the other end and you'd get out shrinkage, and then you would want to have your longer bathing suit there for you. So Correct. you'd get out, get up, get in your long bathing suit, and then you'd walk around. If they didn't make me wear a speedo, I probably could have been an Olympian. You know, it was just that you were already on that trajectory. Yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, but I was I was Phelpsian. I think I was described as Phelpsian by the way I was swimming. Would you rather be the greatest swimmer of all time, <laughs> or Kelly Slater, or Kelly Slater? <laughs> Kelly Slater. Kelly Slater is always going to be my answer. He might win a lot of these. Like even if you went to team sports and pro sports. Being the greatest surfer, you travel everywhere. You probably have a, a somewhat loose schedule. Practice well, wait, is pretty fun. You're always going to exotic places, always places with great weather. Unless you're trying to surf something crazy, like a 80-foot wave, chances are you're probably not going to be in good weather. But Kelly Slater, pretty good list there. Well, that guy Mick Fanning's been attacked by a shark twice. Now. I know. I'm telling you. But what are the odds of being attacked by a shark twice? Mick bait fanning. <laughs> Mick, this is going to taste great fanning. They call him chum. <laughs> chum. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.